subject of today's landscape painting is the Swiss chalet or simply you can call it as a Swiss house. Whenever you visit the countryside of the Switzerland, you will find all such kind of uh, tiny houses there on the Swiss mountains. And this reference image we, we are going to use for our demonstration today. And uh, I am going to paint uh, one such uh, Swiss charlotte which is covered with a uh, lot of uh, flowers in its balcony as well as uh, in its entrance section and uh, to start with I am giving the Prussian blue color for our sky section and uh, it is a faint wash I am giving and later on uh, we will start to paint the remaining section of your uh, painting so definitely you will enjoy this painting so uh, watch till end About the material that I am using, so I am using the Canson 300 GSM paper. Uh, of course the colors are the watercolors, uh, mostly I am using the Camlin tube colors and the poster colors. Uh, also I am using the Faber Castle colors and apart from flat and the round brushes. Surrounding mountains are uh, a little bit uh, uh, greens or mixed with some blue colors and that's why I'm giving the plain green wash over there. So not all the details I'm trying to add there that you can see and same thing we will continue on the left side as well. Now I have started with the uh, painting the flowers so I am using the crimson red color and uh, with that color I am using the yellow and orange color as well so uh, you can add little bit tiny dots or some kind of uh, spreading that color uh, with little bit wash there on your paper uh, for uh, covering your flower section and same, same technique you can use with the other parts wherever you can see the flowers I am adding a little bit green color to the downstream of those flowers part 
there is some green leaves there or we can say uh, the flowers part is uh, surrounded with a little bit uh, greenery and uh, for that i am giving the plain wash of the green color uh, faint green color basically mixed with uh, lemon yellow and uh, afterwards we will add the detailings to those uh, uh, greenery we will add uh, more specific effects uh, we will add depth to it Generally when we see some light part or the part uh, which you want to highlight most at the opposite side of that part uh, wherever there is some darkness or wherever there is some shadow is required you have to add a more dark color to that which is in combination of the color which is in faint part so I am just trying to add little bit dark with the help of black and dark green mixed together and uh, that is the shadow part in the reference image as well so that you know afterwards those part will automatically get highlighted uh, which you uh, want to highlight it in your painting and same kind of technique we will use uh, in every part of our painting so that uh, the light section will, will get highlighted more I am just trying to add the uh, little bit uh, dark color to the balcony because I see a lot of shadow is there and as far as this is the perspective I can see in the image so uh, so that's that part I am just trying to paint it adding more details to it uh, wherever required keeping some small space uh, white as it is so that I can uh, add uh, some faint color uh, afterwards as I said, automatically uh, the light color or light part of our painting will uh, get highlighted when you add more uh, darkness wherever required. And as you can see, uh, this chalet is of a uh, little bit brown color uh, because the texture of the wall or the balcony is uh, as of uh, brown color. Some crimson yellow I have added in the brown wherever required and the darker section as usual I am just keeping black as it is. Just like the underneath section of the roofs I am just giving the black color, a little bit black brush strokes uh, horizontally. And uh, you can see uh, the yellow color and some uh, green color wash I have given on the left side and given some horizontal and vertical brush strokes uh, for the granary part to cover there.
and now I'm using the dark cadmium or the orange color uh, wash there for the roof section I'm not covering all part of the roof uh, with that uh, dark cadmium color I'm just skipping some part as a white as it is so it is simple brush wash so that you can add more uh, you know detailing afterwards when you complete your painting I'm just trying to adjust my reference image and I'm just trying to give the uh, vertical and the horizontal brush strokes wherever required uh, to highlight uh, some section which I can see in the reference image uh, just like I'm just trying to give the borders to the uh, boundaries of the windows or the balcony section I'm just trying to give the texture And in the same way, I am painting this uh, front section of the another Swiss palette uh, that is in front of uh, uh, you. And uh, this is not any perspective. This is this is just a uh, plain uh, front section of the wall or of of that uh, Swiss house or the chalet. And in the similar way, uh, some tiny dots with the help of uh, crimson red color and some tiny dots of the green and the uh, lemon yellow color I am giving for the flowers to uh, cover there on that uh, chalet as well and same things uh, adding some shadows or some kind of detailings we will uh, cover there as well
and some bushes uh, you can observe uh, so I will just cover that part with some simple brush strokes uh, and also you can see some uh, yellow part I have given there as a plain wash over there uh, in the background so to add more uh, greenery part over there or just to highlight some uh, greenery part over there I have given that color and I will add those detailing uh, afterwards I'm not giving any color to the bottom part of our paper because this is the uh, white part uh, which is natural color to the road uh, to this Swiss chalets and uh, you will find the effect of not giving any color afterwards uh, whenever uh, we will finish our painting I'm just trying to add a little bit brush strokes with the help of green color so that uh, this yellow section you know uh, get highlighted with some greenery in the pots some flowers and some uh, tiny bushes are there And in the same way, uh, you can see there is one more uh, house is there behind. I'm just trying to add the uh, side section over there. Uh, little bit part of the balcony, you can see. Just I'm trying to cover those part with some uh, crimson red, and uh, we'll add uh, detailings over there as well. Uh, some tiny uh, dots uh, wherever required, you can add afterwards. Now I'm painting some upper section with crimson red color and uh, you have to guess what I am painting there. A small object I am painting with the help of crimson red. Generally in every image of the Switzerland uh, you will observe this part uh, when you see.
most of the part of our painting we have completed and uh, if you see anything is remaining you can add those detailing afterwards and uh, some gaps you can fill with uh, some uh, brush strokes So we are done with this painting today and uh, if you like this painting uh, don't forget to share subscribe and have your comments in comment section till then bye thank you